to the Supreme Bar tutorial, brother. And this is the tutorial for you to get ready to install the Supreme Bot. You need some programs to get this running. So this is the episode of the tutorial series where you get all of the programs you're going to need for the Supreme Bot. And what are those programs? And you're on Mac, can I also do this on Windows? Yes, you can. So, and because I will explain it to you for as well. There's only one slight difference in the whole process. Actually, like maybe if you got a problem, the debugging is different, but don't worry, I will be there for you. Okay, so we need a programming language. We need Selenium, which we're going to install using pip. You can also use homebrew but I'm not doing that. And Sublime Text. It's a text editing software. So, programming language is Python. Then, we need something in order to let the programming language access the world wide web. And this is done using Selenium. Selenium is being installed using pip. You can also use homebrew, as I said, but just we will go with pip. And then we need a text editing software in order to get the thing going, you know, like writing the code and shit. You can also use probably this, but you don't want to do it. Doesn't matter. I, I will just show it to you. You will understand everything as it goes on. So, Python. Here is the slight difference. Mac is, in this case, better than Windows. Why? Because Mac users already have Python installed, whereas Windows users don't have it. So, FC Pro, yes, this is what I'm going to be using. Wag as picture, wag as pictures. No, this is what I need. So, okay. Hopefully the computer has no problem with sho with my face <laughs> and the window screen at the same time. So, but this is for Windows users right now, dedicated for all of you. So, okay, you go to Google and or just go to this website right here. You can find it by just Googling Python and then clicking on Downloads. Then once you're here, click on Download Python 2.7.14 very easy then uh, I'm doing it again I'm showing this okay then when you go into the program after it has downloaded it should be go very fast the screen will pop up install for all users just me doesn't matter probably I would go for all users but it does it doesn't matter and just keep clicking next 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 choose your wherever you want to install Python and it should be fine and yes when you got this you can try out whether python is working in a quite easy manner you go right click on the windows button on the top bottom left corner and then type in cmd this opens the uh, command line cmd f stands for command and then once you're in the cmd.x you type in python press enter what will happen it if you've done it successfully it will tell you that python 2.7.13 is, is installed this is the screen that will pop up um, slight differences maybe but you will see it if it, it's it's very different if it hasn't worked so this tells you it everything worked out fine if you have run ran into any issues um you let me know in the comments down below i will help you okay so this is the hardest part congrats also mac uses congrats how can i see whether i really have python installed i don't want to trust you man um uh, open this up let me close this um uh, oh shit stop stop Oh shit, I just wanted to close the tutorial because, okay, perfect, uh, okay, now 
it's the same for win a Mac users type in Python press enter and look it tells you Python 2.7 point whatever is installed so if you want to close that type in quit uh, okay clear okay we already got most of this stuff done now we want to still install pip we talked about that earlier you already forgot it does it not matter not a huge problem so I have to close all of this shit and pip dot p pipa dot io okay looks good okay then I will close this again S but look here it's the same you click for Windows it's the same as for Mac but you click on this link and it will download the script for you when the script has run it will have installed pip for you quite easy yes it is quite easy and wait I have installed pip I don't see pip on my desktop no problem doesn't matter because if it has worked I know sometimes here can be here it's normal to run into issues for you Windows users <laughs> and so you just go a uh, you just go in the comment line for Windows and Mac it's the same like it's called differently but it's the same process type in pip press enter what will happen this should happen there should be a screen popping up like you see on my computer right now and it will tell you what comments are available and if you see this everything has worked if not again let me know in the comments and only let me know if you done it the same way I did it because else if, if you done some stupid shit I'm not going to be there for you okay so you get all of these comments what did I say before I told you you already forgot it no problem using pip we want to install selenium look we're already so far down the list it's very it goes by very fast if you stick around for 10 minutes you will be successfully buying your box logo next week maybe I can't guarantee that yet, but you know you know how it is man you know how it is so pip install we want to install something using pip and it's used like pip then a comment and then install in this case and then selenium so type in pip install selenium press enter and for you it will run the installation process as you can see I have already installed this requirement or this program whatever you want to call it and if Mac users run into any issues here because it sometimes can happen because of the permissions type in sudo pip install selenium and then you should be fine okay I don't want to get back to it uh, okay so sudo pip install selenium hit, in hit enter and now it should work and how do I know whether it has worked type in pip let's do list here it will show all of the require all of the programs that are installed for you I am probably owning uh, like I have more of these than you do probably if you're new to programming or whatever and so yeah but here you can see it's selenium is in the list this is a very good sign so type in pip check selenium and I'm not making these words up all of them can be found in this list we just used list to show us the installed packages now we use check to verify whether installed packages have compatible dependencies which just means it tells us when you press enter whether broken requirements are found in our case they are not this is good so congrats you're kind of done just install sublime text this is a thing that will take you like I don't know how talented you are but if you're untalented it will take you maybe one minute so type in subli sublime text 
like untalented it's i don't want to say that you have to be talented for that but you know what i mean Th doesn't matter so go on the website click download mac and windows it's the same and yes i know and now very important i have to say that windows i don't like windows because on windows you run into some small issues maybe and just tell me what the issue is i will have the solution for them so when you post your comment i will link you to the solution you need so you might windows users might have to put in invest five more minutes in order to get this running but if you're not willing to do that just leave the video now sorry bro <laughs> and okay uh, okay okay yeah that's what i wanted to say but you're very good person if you're on windows trying that and now we only need one more thing and it's a web driver what is a web driver it's something the connection between selenium and the web browser you're using you know what a web browser is internet explorer is a web browser um, Google Chrome is a web browser, Firefox is a web browser. In this case, I'm using Firefox on Mac. So I will link all of them down below. I think for Chrome, it's called Chrome Driver. No one is really using Internet Explorer for Safari, I don't know. And for Firefox, it's called Gecko Driver. So I will quickly show you how to install Ge Gecko Driver, maybe also Chrome Driver. I will have a look, but I will recommend Gecko Driver for all of you, especially w Mac users, because I have run into issues with Chrome Driver. It's just really fucked up, buggy, and you don't want to mess around with that shit, in my opinion. Okay, how can I install Gecko Driver? It's very complicated. You go to Google, type in Gecko Driver, go on this website github.com I will put the link in the description and yes pick your version same for Mac and Windows like it's not the same version but you know uh, for the Windows users you want to pick Windows and for Mac users you want to pick Mac like yeah so you, you just look for your version Gecko driver Mac OS, this is for Mac. Linux, Linux is Linux. Win32, Win3064. And you know, there are different versions. If you have Win32, I recommend just going with a little outdated version. For Yep, you will get it. Like, you know whether you have 32 or 64 bits. If you don't, just ask in the comments down below. I will answer you how to find out. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, but now you're done like click on this shit and the installation in my case is Mac It will download something for you. I don't know what it is to be honest. Let me check Okay, look you end up with something like this. This is the executable file Very easy to use. I will show you how to use it in the tutorial because this is implemented in the script and Sublime text. Yes, the installation is very easy. You just go through it like it's recommended next 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 this is always what you do uh, okay now thank you for watching this i will pull up myself i want i like to look at myself you know no i'm kidding i guess i'm kidding kind of um ah damn so now that you have gone through the installation process i guess you have already invested so much time that you will definitely be able to cup shit that you haven't been able to cup before. And this is the video which you everyone has to go through. I'm sorry for that, but there is no better way f of me than th like th this is the one you will. This is how it's going to work, you know. And the bot will be released right now. I'm doing the tutorial right after this, so stay tuned. I guess it's believe me. This is much harder than the part which is for is going to follow now okay thank you for watching if you want 
you can donate me some money by giving it to a homeless person and yeah have a good one cheers cheers <laughs>